big day finally arrived, April 30th, and the bobway quail started to hatch. These first couple of clips here are time-lapse photography, uh, one frame every second, and played back at roughly 15 frames per second. First clip basically I think just shows these first three that hatched out. If you look closely towards the end of this clip, you can see where some of the other eggs are starting to crack, little uh, lines in them and the little breathing hole that the, the chick first puts in. The second clip of time-lapse photography here, you get to see three or four of them as they emerge from the egg. Interesting thing happens, they almost get swarmed by the other ones, the other chicks that are already out, as soon as one starts to come out, they all hid for that egg and, and gather around it. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, just greeting it, I guess. And then uh, toward the end of the video here, there's several clips taken in the brooder, um, which is <laughs> in the pink-red world there. They're underneath of a infrared heat lamp, and so everything has sort of a pink hue to it. I got, out of the 17 eggs that were left in the incubator, I got 14 uh, chicks. I candled the last six after I had removed all the young ones, and two of those had stopped developing, well, fairly early on, probably should have been removed the last time that I candled, and four all looked as though they had uh, uh, mature chicks in them. Three of them I could see movement, and the fourth one I couldn't. Well, the three that I could see movement in hatched, and the other uh, one never did hatch. And it looks like there's a fully developed chick in there. It just died before it got out for some reason, I guess. Anyway, I hope you enjoy these clips, and uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'm sure there'll be more updates to come. I forgot to say that when we do get to the clips here that I took in the brooder, they were fascinated by the GoPro camera. I put the camera right down in there with them for a couple of the clips, and the third, or the last clip, third or fourth, whatever, is uh, taken from above, looking down at them. But the GoPro, when I operate it remotely, which I was doing with my iPad, has two flashing lights on it, one blue and one red. I think that really fascinated them. They, uh, come over this lot of a lot of the sound that you hear. I just left the natural sound and don't talk over top of that. But a lot of the sound that you hear is them pecking at the camera, trying to figure out what it is. Here begins the second clip, and if you continue to watch here, you'll see at least three hatch. You can see uh, one of them there, the egg that just turned a bit, had a line on it that was broken. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.